What is up, guys? Welcome back to Wild Rift University. I'm Thing One, and today I have an excellent video for you guys. But beforehand, if you have not seen yet, uh, I have hit uh, Vanquisher 3, 99 points currently, and ranked 110 in North America. So if you haven't seen that yet in just my post, um, super excited about that. Playing Morgana, Twisted Fate, and Evelyn primarily. Uh, so I wanted to give you guys that update. And guys, I also just want to thank you. Tomorrow, Wild Rift University turns one month old. So tomorrow will be our one month anniversary and we've already hit 226 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough um, for that. That's just as much you guys as it is me. I really appreciate you guys liking the content, sharing the content, telling your friends about it. If you're watching now and you're not liked or subscribed, please like or subscribe. Um, I am a last season Grandmaster Vanquisher 1 jungle main, but I do play all roles and I make roles, uh, videos about all roles. Uh, I teach the high level micro and macro aspects of the game, uh, teaching maximum responsibility and how to improve at the game through decision making. The thing holding you back isn't you needing to get better at a champion or finding a more broken champion. It isn't uh, finding the right build or the right combo. It's decision making. That is the real thing that separates you from getting to the rank that you want, okay? Um, and with that being said, guys, we're going to talk about decision-making um, in the video right here. So on my main account, as you guys know, because this is on my main account, um, and I think I told if you guys watched, I don't really play ranked anymore. I primarily play Legend Q. So my ranked account is like Diamond 3 or 2, I think. I don't even know because I, I don't even really play ranked. Um, the only reason I'm playing ranked right now is because kind of at where I'm at in the queue, it's typically a one hour to 30 minutes before I even find a game. So sometimes if I get bored, I'll just jump on ranked, but I, I don't really play ranked too often anymore. Like I said, just play legend queue. Uh, but the benefit of that is, is I can show you guys high level gameplay when I'm playing legend queue. And then I can kind of show you guys, um, gameplay where maybe some of you are currently at. So this game is going to be in a, you know, diamond. I think I'm diamond two in this game. I don't remember. I, I apologize. It's diamond two or diamond three. Uh, but it's going to be high emerald, you know, mid diamond, low diamond, whatever you want to call it. If it's diamond two, then it's technically high diamond. But I'm going to show you like, how does a player um, at my, how does like a grandmaster player respond when they're playing? Because as you see, I'm going to be versing the Aurelia. What do I do in a situation where I fall behind? How do I get back in the game? Uh, because actually in this game, I hard carry. I think I end up going like 18-4 and 13 or 18-3 and 13. I can't even remember what it really is, but I hard carry. But I actually fall behind. And because I'm versing the Aurelia and the Are I, I misplay the beginning and the Aurelia basically just wins the lane or win, starts winning the lane. And I want to show you guys how to turn a lane phase around. Okay. This isn't going to be a super long video, maybe 15, 20 minutes, but I'm going to show you what do you do when you start off the lane bad? Cause I actually give this Aurelia first blood. And when you're playing Aurelia versus twisted fate, if you happen to be a twisted fate main or an Aurelia main, twisted fate beats Aurelia right off the bat. Why? Because I'm a range champion and I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. I'm trying to zone her off the CS and I'm poking her, but I'm taking really bad trades. And one of the things that I'm kind of noticing in my videos right here, or while well, watching this, so I need to stand kind of close to the minions because I need her when she engages on me, I need her to um, take minion aggro at the same time in order to help me beat her. And so like at first I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Like I'm holding her off and I am getting a level advantage. Like I'm getting in the XP advantage. I'm trying to zone her off as much as she can. Anytime she trades in, I, um, I punish her, but as you see, I push in way too aggressive. And now basically if this Aurelia is smart, like if this Aurelia is smart, she knows she has this. She just burned my flash, which is the most important thing because I stepped up too far and got hit by her uh, stun. So now this Aurelia has me and I'm kind of in a, a peculiar situation because I have to win the early game. Cause if I don't win the early game, then Aurelia steam rolls me. And now I'm the one playing from behind experience. So I'm trying to hear, and I'm kind of like in a, a double negative because now I'm trying to like almost push the wave on her 
because I'm worried that she's going to get a bigger gold lead. And then she ends up killing me. And I give first blood to the Aurelia. So like, let's pause this real quick, okay? So I give up first blood to the Aurelia. Now she's ahead of me um, in gold. Sorry, it's... I have 1,500 gold. She has 1,920 gold. And she's going to back. So now she's going to have an item advantage on me. Aurelia already beats me in an all-in engage um, as it is. Um, unless I poke her out well, now she's going to beat me even harder because I messed up my early game. So how do you come back from this? Because in this situation, technically now, Aurelia should curb stomp me in lane. So what, what is my thought process when I come here? I, I can't beat the Aurelia anymore. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to maintain lane priority. I talk about this all the time. I pushed out the wave as fast as I could, and then I looked for a gank. And then what I saw right here is the jungler was coming mid, okay? So this is my thought process, okay, guys? I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to just rewind this real fast. I know this lane is lost. I can't win the lane anymore. The only way I can win the lane is if I outplay her or she makes a mistake or I get help. So I push out the wave and I'm looking for another place to try and gain priority. Now, I see that the jungler is coming bot and I want to try and set up a gank for the jungler. So... I know that most likely it's an Evelyn. She wants to gank early and she's going in. So I'm just going to go all in and fight. And I'm trying to encourage a fight and she takes the bait. She takes the bait and dies. So this is exactly what happens, okay, in games every single time. I knew from right here, okay, right here, guys, actually a little bit further. When I got to about right here and I saw the Evelyn passing down, or pathing my way, and she just killed her, or just got a kill of Ken in top lane, I knew this Evelyn wanted to keep fighting. Because that's how players are. They just want to keep fighting. And I knew that this Aurelio wasn't going to pay attention to the fact that the or the um, the Evelyn just killed their top laner and is now pathing in the jungle. I knew she wouldn't pay attention to that. So I go in and I'm thinking, I'm going to start a fight, and I know this jungler is going to back me up. I see her keep walking up, and once she keeps walking up, I bait in the engage. And immediately the Evelyn goes in, we double team her, and she dies. That full-on engage by her was basically her throwing her lead, okay? Because there's no reason why she should have gone in when the Evelyn was just in the jungle, was just in the top uh, lane and pathing towards the river, okay? And then what happens now? I got a kill, and I just got an assist. Now look at this. Now look at this, okay? I have 2,997 gold. She has 2,758 gold. She's still in a position where she can kill me, you know, if she were to 1v1 me, but I have a full item, and she hasn't even completed an item yet, okay? And I knew this would happen because I knew she would make the mistake at over-engaging on me while my jungler was near in the area, okay? I purposely set that up. Now what am I doing? I still know that I really can't beat her unless I'm in the right situation. So I'm looking to where I can make impact in the game and on the map to get myself a lead to get back ahead of her, okay? That's what I'm doing right now as I'm pathing. So... I'm looking towards the bot lane. Can I make a play? I can't make a play, so I'm rotating back to my mid lane saying, okay, I can't make a play anywhere down here. I'm going to try and get lane priority again. I'm going to push out the wave so that way she's stuck there and I can rotate somewhere else. So here I see her top lane. I'm immediately like, I, I want a hard push, okay? I should have used my red cards here for hard pushing, but the other thing that I'm doing right now is, see how I'm staying... I play this a little wrong. So I should have technically stayed right where I was about like right here. Sorry, hold on. When I push this wave, as I kind of like pushed up, I should have stayed further up and I should have red carded it as I kept going. And I shouldn't have like retreated back right here. I should have stayed, kept auto attacking the wave. But I was a little worried because I know that, um, you know, she kind of, but as you can see now, I'm actually ahead of her. I hit level six and I'm over halfway through hit passing level six. Now I have the wave pushed under her and I'm in a position where I can impact the wave in another spot. I have lane momentum. She has to come back to the wave and I can dictate what's happening. So as you can see, how I'm winning and how I'm controlling this is I'm making her have to play reactive 
Well, I set the tempo of the lane. She has to respond to what I'm doing and then I go and do something else while she's responding to what I just did, okay? That's how you kind of have to approach it, all right? So now I'm in a position where I, I think I right now I have two kills and an assist. Here I pushed out the wave again. It's giving me priority. I can go rotate. I'm trying to rotate to this fight right now. She has to stay mid lane because if she stays... If she doesn't stay mid lane, she loses on that farm. If she rotates bot, then I'm just going to push her tower. Um, and I'm just going to keep her like in this spot. Now she wants to back, and I'm going to try and stop her from backing. I'm going to just keep poking at her and stop her from backing, waiting for my jungler to come on up because I see my jungler coming up just like before. And then we just all in engage on this. Stun her, move forward attacking her down my support this is a little aggressive like going to her jungle like this was a big mistake should not have done this into their jungle um if the draven would have hit the alt I probably would have changed the whole fight uh but i still get out with a kill um even though i give away a kill and we give a double kill but look look at this now i'm at 4900 gold she's at um 4224 i'm three two and two She's one, two, and two. And then, like I said, as you're watching this game, I'm making, I'm taking action. She's playing reactive. She's spending all of her time reacting to what I'm doing, and I'm the one sending tempo. Now, I immediately just come right back in. She has to push out the mid wave again, and I get another kill. And so, now we basically, over the laning phase, because now laning phase is basically over now. Typically, I, I, I typically consider when Dragon spawns, uh, when Rift Herald spawns, laning phase over. Because now people just start rotating. As you can see right now, I got four people in the mid lane. Laning phase is basically over. So let's kind of just recap real quick. How, how did I change this? I came in, I played super poorly, made stupid decisions, and really entered my lane against an Aurelia, somebody who I should beat early. And then I um, it's like, okay... I can't win this anymore, so what do I have to do? I look for ways to impact the map, and I look for ways to uh, keep my tempo in the lane so that way I could play um, initiation while she has to react. I initiate what's going to happen, and then she reacts. We get Rift Herald, first tower. I'm able to rotate around the map. I'm getting a buttload of assists, and I'm getting a buttload of kills, and I'm getting... Uh, priority, and now I got the dragon. We got first tower dragon and everything. All because I realized like, hey, these are the mistakes I made and this is what I need to do in order to come back from it. All right, guys? So I hope this uh, little quick video was helpful for you guys about like learning how to um, come back in like a bad situation when you start the game off bad. And I just want a quick reel here. I'm just gonna show you guys kind of how the game actually ended right here. Okay, I apologize. I exaggerated the kills a little bit. 15, 4, and 20. I thought it was 18, 4, and 14 is what I thought it was. But 15, 4, and 20. And then my jungler did really good as well. The game ended up turning out to be uh, kind of blowout because my team did really well. Uh, but the whole point of this video is basically showing you, like, how do I come back from a situation? A lane that I technically win early but then lose hard. So, like... I came back and I positioned myself in a position to win because even though I lost my early game, which was the only part of the game I was supposed to beat her, I found different ways to impact the game to make myself viable again. And I know a lot of people, you'll be watching this and say, well, you're Grandmaster, Vanquisher, one player. This is probably a diamond or emerald play. Of course you're going to win. Yes, obviously, like I'm, I am the more skilled player. It, I'm not showing you this video because like, oh, look how good I am. I'm showing you this video because the decisions and the concepts that I did are the exact same things you guys need to do in order to come back. Because the truth of the matter is this right here doesn't happen if I don't basically learn how to change the tempo of this lane and do things like this. Understanding that like my jungler is going to come down with me it's my game knowledge and decision-making and understanding and knowing, knowing to pick the fight and knowing by picking the fight that Evelyn would continue, okay? It's the pushing the wave out and then knowing that I can rotate top and get a kill, 
okay? Those are the decisions that actually all those little decisions right there, those are what equated to this right here, all right? I didn't win this game, okay? Just because like I, I did win because I'm better, but like winning doesn't actually make you better at the game. I was able to perform well at the game because I knew the right decisions to make to give me a chance to win the game. And that's the same thing for you guys, okay? Like if you take the right decisions when you fall into a bad situation, I guarantee you in your next game, if you have in a lane where like you were supposed to win it early and then you lost it early, think about how you can impact the map and impact the game and look for the mistakes that she made to rotate momentum. Mid lane is one of the easiest lanes to do this in. Top lane, that is a little bit harder. And bot lane, it is a little bit harder. Uh, but you can still rotate even in those lanes and make plays. But like I said, guys, it's the concepts. So I hope you take these concepts and utilize them in your games to help you improve. I appreciate you guys once again uh, for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.